Once the steelwork has been properly designed and fabricated, it is ready for the factory control process of galvanising. The job will be booked in and the quantities and paperwork checked. The steelwork will then be wired for suspension and thoroughly inspected for venting and draining holes and any other issues that may affect the process. The secret to achieving a good quality coating lies in the preparation of the surface. It is essential that the steelwork is free of grease, dirt, scale and rust before galvanising. These types of contamination are removed by a five-stage pretreatment process. Initially, the metal is dipped in a degreasing solution to remove any surface contamination. It is then pickled in a dilute hydrochloric acid which removes any rust or scale. This process on average takes one to two hours, but can take longer if the steel has a heavy layer of rust. It is then rinsed to remove acid residues before being dipped in a flux solution which is heated to 70 degrees Celsius. This fluxing leaves dissolved salts on the surface of the metal, which helps to wet the steel components with zinc, improving the quality of the coating. The last stage in pretreatment is to dry the steel in preparation for immersion in the zinc. The steel is lowered slowly into the kettle of molten zinc, which is heated to 450 degrees Celsius. The resulting metallurgical reaction creates an alloy on the surface, forming a corrosion protection layer on the steel. The small explosions are created by very small amounts of moisture rapidly evaporating. The length of time in the zinc bath depends on how long it takes to sink hollow sections. Items with small holes will take a longer time and this can affect the smoothness of the coating. The steel is then passivated to aid the prevention of storage stains on the product. Once the steel is at a safe temperature for handling, the suspension wires are cut and the fabrication is fettled, a manual process to remove any spikes of zinc. It is then thoroughly inspected and all items are checked and accounted for. The order is reassembled into the delivery batch it arrived in and is ready for collection.